Qualcomm has officially taken the wraps off its next-gen flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, at the Snapdragon Summit in Hawaii. And this one is clearly built to push high-end smartphones into an entirely new performance tier. This new SoC succeeds the Snapdragon 8 Elite that powered most of 2025's top-tier phones like the OnePlus 13, Samsung's Galaxy S lineup, and the Xiaomi 15 series. But Gen 5 isn't just an incremental refresh. Qualcomm is targeting raw speed, better power efficiency, and an even deeper dive into on-device AI. Meanwhile, MediaTek isn't sitting quietly. It recently unveiled the Dimensity 9500, its own flagship processor, and on paper, this is shaping up to be one of the closest battles between the two companies. So let's break down how they stack up, based purely on specs and features. Qualcomm has equipped the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 with its third-generation Orion CPU, packing two high-performance Prime cores clocked up to 4.6 GHz and six performance cores running at 3.62 GHz. Qualcomm claims a 20% CPU performance jump and 35% better efficiency over last year's chip, along with built-in hardware matrix acceleration for AI. MediaTek, however, is going with an all-big core CPU layout. One C1 Ultra, three C1 Premium cores, and four C1 Pro cores supported by a massive 16MB L3 and 10MB SLC cache. The company is promising up to 32% faster single-core output and 37% lower peak power draw compared to its previous gen. On the graphics side, Qualcomm's redesigned Adreno GPU brings a 23% performance bump, 25% better ray tracing, and 20% improved power efficiency. It also supports Unreal Engine 5 features like mesh shading and tile memory heap, making long gaming sessions smoother. MediaTek counters with the Mali G1 Ultra GPU, claiming a huge 119% ray tracing improvement, and the industry's first 120 FPS ray traced gaming on mobile, complete with Unreal Engine 5.5 features like Nanite and Megalites. AI is a major battleground this year. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 features a faster hexagon NPU offering 37% more AI throughput and support for on-device agentic assistance. MediaTek's MPU 990 is even more ambitious, boasting more than two times the AI performance of the previous gen, 4K text-to-image generation, and a CIM-based architecture delivering up to 56% lower peak power. For cameras, Qualcomm is introducing its new Advanced Professional Video Codec, plus a triple 20-bit ISP that supports massive 320-megapixel sensors and 8K60 playback. MediaTek's Imagic 1190 ISP supports up to 200-megapixel sensors, 8K60 capture, and 4K120 with stabilization. On the connectivity front, Qualcomm's X85 5G modem offers blazing 12.5 Gbps download speeds, with Wi-Fi 7 at 5.8 Gbps. MediaTek sticks with Release 17 but delivers strong Wi-Fi 7 performance with tri-band concurrency. In short, Qualcomm is doubling down on raw power and pro-grade features, especially for creators, while MediaTek is betting heavily on efficiency, thermal stability, and next-gen mobile gaming. Both chips raise the bar, but they're clearly targeting slightly different types of users. So, what do you guys think about both these processors? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.